AstraZeneca COVID vaccine. What scientists know and don't know about it. Scientists still don't know everything about COVID-19 vaccines until more real-world data becomes available. So experts constantly monitor them during rollouts to ensure the safety profile. One of many under monitoring is the AstraZeneca vaccine, which phased out in the U.S. Just a day after the firm released interim findings from its largest clinical trial, officials at a U.S. government agency questioned the vaccine's efficacy, according to Nature. Eric Topol, director of the Scripps Research Translational Institute, said, The world, the species, depends on this vaccine. This is 2.5 billion people's worth of vaccine. Here's what scientists know about the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine. First, it is an excellent alternative to expensive and more difficult to store vaccines, such as Pfizer's and Moderna's. It can be stored in normal refrigerators to support mass production and distribution, especially in poor nations. Second, it has received conditional approval in over 100 countries, though not yet in the U.S. More than 20 million doses were administered in Europe while 27 million doses in India via a local version called Covishield. Third, the overall efficacy of the Oxford vaccine is 79% in preventing COVID-19 with two doses based on the March 22 announcement. The preliminary findings involve 32,449 participants in the U.S., Chile, and Peru. Although 60% of participants had pre-existing health conditions linked to a higher risk of severe disease, no one who got the vaccine was hospitalized or died. However, the Independent Data Safety Monitoring Board overseeing the trial said that the data could have shown outdated information. The board unveiled that the efficacy rate was between 69% and 74% using that data. AstraZeneca stated that the 79% was derived from the earliest data of the February 17. The final results are yet to come out, and those would be consistent with the interim analysis. On March 25, the company updated the overall vaccine efficacy to 76% against symptomatic COVID-19. The press release also included 100% efficacy against severe or critical disease and hospitalization, and 85% against symptomatic COVID-19 in participants aged 65 years and older. And finally, the concern over new variants. Preliminary analysis in one UK trial showed that the vaccine could provide protection against the UK variant. Meanwhile, the vaccine appeared to be less effective against the South Africa variant. Right now, Scientists don't know the final efficacy rate of the vaccine and its effectiveness against both South Africa and Brazil variants. Plus, the issue of blood clot risk isn't completely ruled out by the European Medicines Agency.